Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a swipe from the middle on a 16 by 20. Um, I already have my black down. Now my base coat is 25% Artist Love Cobalt Blue and 75% full acrylic black. So I thin that with just Floetrol, got it to the consistency, um, tilted all the excess off. So I already have that down, um, popped all the bubbles, and the colors I'm using, there's four colors. I'm going to be using this beautiful gold, which is Artist Loft Old Gold and the Folk Art Glam Gold Glitter. I mix those two together, I think it's about 50-50. And the next color is Creative Inspiration Payne's Gray with the Windsor & Newton Cerulean Blue, about 50-50 on that. And then I just put a little bit of the Artist Loft Iridescent Medium mixed with in here. It's really pretty. I love Payne's Gray. This one is the Artist Loft Red Ochre. And the pearl is the iridescent golden pearl. And I mixed that 50-50 with the pearlescent Creative Inspirations. So those are my four colors. The medium I used is 75% Floetrol, about 30% um, 75% Floetrol, 15% GAC 800, and 10% of the Deco Art Pouring Medium. So it's 75, 15 GAC, and 10 Deco Art. So that's mixed with all my colors. The black is just Floetrol. So let's get started. I'm going to put, put it down this way. Uh, I'll go this way. Let's get going. I have enough paint. Um, I think I'll do a little off-center swipe. Now the gold's going to be my color I'm swiping with, so I want to make sure I get plenty of that on there. Then I think I'll go with the, uh, um, I think I'll go with the ochre next. Then I'm going with the pearl. Okay, and the paint's gray. All right. I think that's plenty of paint right there. I'm going to be using paper towels to swipe with. So I'm just going to give it a little, my squirt bottles over here. Squirt a little, get it damp, and let's get going. I cut these a little shorter. That way I have more control with where I lay it down. Okay, I'm going to do the heat gun a little bit, just a little bit, see if I can get anything coming up. Get some stuff down here, that's cool.
very sparkly, very sparkly. I think I'm gonna keep, I really like what this is doing. Not so much down here, so I'm gonna keep tilting. I got a lot of paint right in here. Let's see, Let's see what happens. I actually like how it's given the fingers here. <laughs> I just don't know when to stop. Huh? Not right there. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. I want to go off about right here. I like it. There we go. There we go. I like it. I had a little bit too much paint on there, but that red ochre, I like. I'm surprised the pearl just sort of went away. I don't know if that should have been the first swipe color, but this is really cool. And I know you can't see it, but wow. The, I mean, I didn't get a whole lot of cells and it still might change. But I do like what I'm seeing. It's just really, I mean, you can see the sparkles coming. And that pearl will probably continue to come up along with the black. So I will come back in about, I don't know, probably... I'll give it a good hour and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, I'm back. It's been about three weeks since I did this one. This was a swipe and tilt. I actually had too much gold on there, so, but I like how it turned out. So I have already put two coats of the Liquitex gloss varnish on it. But after watching Karen at Waterfall Acrylics. And also I know Jen Neal uses this and I've had it and I do use it on um, my Shelly Technique sometimes. Super expensive. I thought I would try going over it with a coat of this. And then I'm gonna be doing some blingy stuff to this. So um, let's get started. So I'm gonna be using just a regular brush now, if you watch my prior videos, you know I like to use a sponge. But for this one, since you said there's no brush strokes, I'm going to go ahead and I have it put in this little bottle here. I'm going to go ahead and see what happens if I do it like this. So let's go. I'm not sure how fast I need to work or if I need to. I'm going to open this just in case I need it feels very smooth. Of course, I'm doing it on top of gloss already. It's supposed to be self-leveling. Karen was going crazy over it, so I'm like, I already have that. But I haven't used it as a top coat, which is... Actually, when you look this up, usually they use it as finishing a guitar, giving the guitar that shine. So, is it enough? Or... All right, let me take a look and make sure that I didn't miss anything. Looks good. I could put two coats on if I need to. I'm just, okay, it looks like by the way, in here, you'll, there's some glitter too. Um, you can really see it. I know you can't probably, but I do see some brush strokes right now. I do see some air bubbles over here. Very shiny. There's, it looks like it's leveling out pretty good. I do, I'm gonna turn it around and make sure I, if I see it. Yeah, I see something over here. Yeah, you just gotta really, look at it from all angles because 
you can't see it sometimes just by tilting it. All right, I'll bring you back when this dries and then I'll take you through the next process of turning this into some bling. See you later, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back the next day and I love how it turned out. Um, I don't know if you can see the shine, but it's resin light, but you know, nothing beats resin, but I would think this would be the next best thing. Um, I did this one also, and you could. So for a difference, under this I did have a couple coats of the Liquitex gloss. So if you see some lines in here, it's because of the Liquitex gloss, not because of. Um, same with this, not because of, because um, both of these were done over the Liquitex gloss. Now, to see the difference, this is, has three coats of Liquitex gloss varnish, and this one is the bright tone. So you can see the difference right there with the light. See the difference in the shine. This one is more like a glass finish, and it's very hard, where this one, is shiny but not as reflective as this one that's a good comparison right there there you go and this one so like I said um, these have Liquitex under them I need to do a few with just the bright tone but for this video it's not about this but I thought I'd throw that in um, I'll be back I'm gonna be uh, doing some bling over this but I wanted to get the shine down first because I won't be going anywhere over here. So I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, this is nice and dry. It's been a couple days. So shiny, I just, I love it. So I'm gonna be putting some bling on this and I'm only gonna do the bling on this gold color here. I'm gonna be pouring some resin very lightly. Um, I don't really want it to get in this area so I'm gonna be trying to control it in the drip areas and then maybe tilt it to get it down where I want it for a natural flow with the resin um, I'm gonna be using first off this decorative filler at by Ashlyn that's from Michaels it has a little gold tinge to it then I I'm using, I don't know what brand this is. This is a glitter. And this is gold fusion, fusion glass glitter. This is from Laura's Corner. By the way, down below I'll have some links to some of these products um, and other products I use on Amazon. I'm an affiliate. Um, these two mixed together, this is Recollections gold and I mix that gold with it which I have no idea can't really see it very good what brand that other one is I'm gonna be mixing the stone coat gold dust metallic in the resin before I pour it on and I'm gonna be wearing a respirator so I'm gonna be right back uh, I made sure everything was level I have some let me show you I put this on the back just to secure it. I didn't really need it at the bottom because I'm not doing anything with that. So I'll make sure everything's level. I'm going to go ahead and mix the resin, put my respirator on. I'm not going to be having to heat it up because I don't care about air bubbles. So I'm just going to put it on while I'm mixing and I will be right back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I stirred it for about three minutes. Let it sit just a little bit. Now, another reason to wear a respirator is when you're working with mica, which is what this is. It's so fine that you don't want to breathe it. It goes airborne. I always keep a wet rag around and 
That way you're able to wipe up around your work area so it doesn't get on your other pieces. So today I'm going to be using a foam, little foam brush. Get it at the dollar store. Um, this is a silicone. This is made for resin. Um, so when I finish with this, if I have extra, I'll pour it in. Um, I have some coaster molds ready to go. But when I get everything out of here, I like to clean it out with just a napkin and some hand sanitizer and some alcohol. Just wipe it out while it's still wet. I've tried to get it out while it's dry and it's just, it's a hassle. So I like cleaning them when, there's, when the resin's still wet. Uh, hand sanitizer works really well to get it off your gloves too. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Why is it always scary when you're working with resin? I don't know. So I'm gonna try to pour it I don't want a whole lot. I don't want it going places I don't want it to go. So let's see if I can. I know I'm going to have to use the stick. And, so I want to keep it up here right now. And then I'm going to use a stick and maybe tilt it. Follow that line. Okay, if it's not perfect, line's not perfect. Okay. Always have mold or something ready to go. You don't want to waste it. Okay, I think that might be enough. I only need this on there to help attach the glitter and the glass I'm using. So I want to make sure it gets up here. When I tilt it, I'm not going to be tilting it this way. I'm going to be tilting it down. And I'll see when it starts moving if I have enough. You don't have to worry about bubbles. So I have some, this is some old resin I'm using. So with this technique, you just want to embellish a pour. It's really good that you use your old resin because, I mean, if it gets yellow or it's not acting right, that's fine. It's gonna be covered up mostly anyway. Okay, I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna try. I make these little, it's just paper I folded. Allows me to control. Well, I haven't used with the glass, the big glass before. I usually just do it with glitter. But let me give it a try. So you wanna put the bigger glass down first. You don't wanna, I don't know. This is a little hard to do. You want to put the big glass first and your glitter, you go from big down to little when you're adding it to your pores like this. perfect when it comes to pouring or doing anything like this. All right, I think I'm good with what that is. Okay, 
it is very hard to see this varnish is so shiny you can't even see where the resin stops okay so now I'm gonna be putting this gold from Laura's corner on next and I will use the envelope on this one it's just I'm gonna try to get it on there semi evenly so in, in the end like tomorrow I will shake this off and go ahead and scoop up all everything that shakes off put it in another container for another project okay so the rest of that will go back in the container now the next one will be gold glitter so this color plays off that copper red color that's in the pour so if you want to do glitter this is just a good way to control it a little more than using a shaker or something like that a lot of times if you want you can glitter a wet pour and do this and I like to keep the same color glitter on the same color paint of the pour I just think it looks classier so I don't put I don't put it all over okay I think that's all it needs so let me bring it down a little bit and if you can see that I don't want to move it because I don't want to have to get it level again I don't want it moving so what you see is really not after I shake it is not what it's going to be look like a lot of this is just going to shake right off so I'll bring you back in the morning and we'll see what it looks like okay it's the next day so let's get this glitter and glass off I'm going to just shake it off here you can see that sorry about the glare seems to want to hit it no matter how I have it maybe right there okay Go ahead and take it off first and then I'll brush it off. This way. This way. Okay, now I'm just going to use a soft bristle brush. See if there's any more that want to come off. All right. I think that's it. I'm liking it. What do you think? I'd appreciate a comment. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you've learned anything. So if you have a pour that needs just a little something else, this would be the thing to do I think I love it so I'm gonna be doing more of this with um, pores this was a, a swipe sort of tilted and I just love how it turned out I think the other way is better but you could hang this either way and this bright tone varnish just makes it anyway have a great night Please like and subscribe and comment. It really helps me. By the way, down below, I have an Amazon link um, to a lot of the materials that I use, including the Bright Tone. So please check it out. Um, also, some of the glitter, Laura's Corners down there, um, some other Shelly Art Technique recipes, um, all kinds of stuff. So check it out in the description. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.